Good evening and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our festive vlogs continue here from a very chilly Blackpool. So cold. It is really cold. You know what, Charlotte? It's going to get even colder where oh, we're no. going. Not to the top of the tower. We're heading up the brand new 65 metre tall Starflyer ride that's here for Christmas here on Blackpool Seafront. So yeah, we're going to head down and check it out and we'll take you on for the ride. Wow, there it is, flying high above Blackpool. And it might be a bit chilly tonight, but look at this gorgeous sunset over the Irish Sea. We yeah, this stands at 65 meters tall. It's here throughout Christmas. And you know what? I think it really looks the part here on the seafronts. I tell you what though, it wasn't actually originally planned to go in this location. At first, it was actually erected in the town center. And then yeah, it had to be taken down due to safety concerns. However, it's now in place here on the seafront. And to be honest, I think it's much better here because not only do you get the awesome views of Blackpool Tower, you also get to see the illuminations and also looking across at the beach and the wonderful sea there. But yeah, you're looking forward to a ride? Yeah, to, but I think this is a much better location, to be honest. Yeah, than just up in the town yeah, centre. this is a way better location, so I look forward to seeing the view. And I bet the ride owners are more happy with it here as well. Yeah, yeah. People driving past might be more inclined to just pull up and have a go. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Orlando Starfly. I know this is a lot smaller. Uh, however, in terms of, you know, how it's in a popular spot, I love it here. I'd actually like to see a permanent Starfly here in Blackpool. Maybe not in this exact location or well, maybe on one of the piers if they could support it or just somewhere here on the seafront i think a permanent star flyer will be absolutely awesome down here and i'll tell you what it's a long cycle it's been going for about five minutes so far it first it goes up to about the halfway point and then yeah it takes you all the way up to the top then it started coming down again and yeah now it's up to the top again so yeah we're gonna head around this way and we'll take a ride on the around the world star flyer yeah looking forward to this wow here we go there, so we're seated, ready for our ride on the Starflyer. And yeah, it's £7.50 per person to ride. Yeah, we're the only ones on it at the moment. And because of that, for weight distribution, as you can see, they've got the sandbags down here at the side that they can put on the seats. Are you ready, Charlotte? I'm ready. You're all wrapped up there. Yeah. i tell you what, it's weird riding one of these and not having a seatbelt across here. Obviously, you've got the bar, but there's no seatbelt around the top of your legs or around your waist up there at the top. So uh, yeah, here we go, we're ready to ride. And yeah, we're gonna head up and get some awesome views over Blackpool. Wow, look at that sky. Here we go, it's time for a nice aerial view over Blackpool. And yeah, I think we're in for a nice cycle. Oh, there's the big one and Blackpool Flash of Beach down there in the distance. And we spin round to the left, great views down the Golden Mile here. What's really interesting is, Blackpool Tower isn't actually lit up tonight. Now, when we come back down, I'll talk more about what something else is going to be happening tonight. There's a mystery at 8 p.m. So yeah, we'll talk about that shortly. Maybe that's why the tower's not lit up. Here we go. Oh, look at the view. very windy up here and you're probably not going to be hearing much of what I'm saying but uh, here we go I'll try my best to be honest it's not as windy as I thought wow climbing up here in Blackpool on the new star flyer Woo! see you've also got one of them plastic ice skating rings down the bottom there as well it's not open tonight yes it's open during the week occasionally and on weekends it's open as well and you've also got some market stalls down there. Yeah, lovely views. What's worth pointing out, the ice skating ring, or the plastic ring, is actually free to go on. Would have had a go tonight if it was on, but yeah, like I said, it's only on selected days. And here we are, nearly at the top. Look at the view. I tell you what, with these seats, they rock quite a bit. Like, if you tilt forward, and you go back, they rock backwards. You're right, Charlotte. Um, you look a bit cold there. Um, I don't like the rocking seats. Do you know, they go backwards and forwards a bit, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's so windy, but what a cracking view. Don't look down, here we go, viewers. I'll show you a view straight down. Woo! Anybody feeling dizzy yet? <laughs> wow. I'll tell you what, with that sunset, that's gorgeous. We timed it perfectly. Shame that the lights are on on the tower. Look at these festive trees when we come off. Yeah, Coral Island down there, the new five-star hotel. That's going to be only next year. There's also going to be a Blackpool Museum in there. And also just announced last week by Merlin Entertainment, 
moment, there's actually going to be a new Peter Rabbit attraction a little bit further down the Golden Mile, just down by the Sea Life Centre and Madame Tussauds. Wow. I tell you what, it's a great location. The reason why you probably don't have a permanent star flight here in Blackpool is due to the wind, because, yeah, can you imagine when you've got a thing with the, the big one down there at Pleasure Beach? can't operate in very high winds or in certain directions if you didn't have a big star flyer probably won't be able to operate sometimes yeah, as you can see we're down here at the halfway point now i've been going for three minutes so far £7. fifty. to be honest i don't think it's too bad for the cycle that you get in i don't know if it was maybe had a queue or if it got busier probably you get a shorter cycle but yeah amazing views Here we go, back up to the top now. Woo! Like I can hear it screeching in the middle there as well. You always fascinated with these star fly rides. What do you think? There's not much holding them on at all when you look at the top just there. You're literally putting your life in the hands of just a few wires at the top, you know. But they are perfectly safe, of course. All these travelling rides go through just as many um, checks and safety precautions. I get stuck up here though a couple of weeks ago and everyone was up here for a short amount of time. Just means you get an extended ride, doesn't it? <laughs> it's really nice, I'm just so cold. It is cold, it is chilly. Perfect timing though for coming up and enjoying the awesome views. Four minutes and eight seconds into our rise. I'll show you another view looking down, why not? Here we go, don't look down. Woo! The Golden Mile, here in Blackpool. Very cold Blackpool. <laughs> oh, but yeah, look at this. Really nice attraction. Yeah, here through until January. Like I say, if you do come down here on one of the peat nights, you've also got the ice skating rink, the plastic ice skating rink as well. It's, it is, it's really good how that's free. You know, they could have charged for that. So it's nice how it is included. Here we go, right. Starting to come to an end. Very cold Charlotte there. <laughs> Perfect timing. I don't know how much you just heard of that. You could just have five minutes and not a lot. Yeah, you lean forwards and the seat really tilts. <laughs> oh, there we go, back to the bottom. Five minutes and nine second ride there on the brand new Blackpool Starfire. I say brand new, brand new for this location. I believe this ride is normally in Edinburgh, this version, around the world. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. But well, why is the tower not lit up tonight? Time to find out a bit more, hopefully, on the mystery. So we've just come off the awesome Blackpool Star Flyer. And yeah, five and a half minute cycle. Really good, over 60 meters tall. Fantastic views above Blackpool. Really like that. I really enjoyed it. The views was fantastic and seeing all the illuminations, it was lovely. It was great, wasn't it, up there? And talking of the illuminations, these ones have just come on here out the front of the tower, but the tower itself still isn't lit up yet. So at the time of recording this, yesterday, they posted that tonight, the 1st of December, um, that something's gonna actually be happening here in Blackpool at 8 p.m. on the comedy carpet, no, but we don't know what. Off. It's a mystery. All the yes. saying is um, that it's not going to be a celebrity appearance and also it could last about 15 minutes. So, who knows? yeah, we don't know. They've posted about it and said it's happening. So, we're not going to wrap the vlog up. We're going to keep it going and see what happens. Now, it could be amazing, it could be disappointing. <laughs> we do not know. It's a mystery show. But we're here, so we might as well see it. Exactly. We didn't plan a visit to come and see it, but no. we saw it posted on the I Love Blackpool Facebook page and thought, why not? Um, but yeah, the illuminations are shining through until January. Check out the vlog that we filmed um, from that back when they started on the switch on night if you've not already seen it but yes we have been here at night and not seen the tower lit up even in non-illumination season the tower's lit up so i'm thinking could that maybe have something to do with what we're going to see tonight i really don't know it's a mystery it could be great it could be awful but you know what you're all going to find out with us at eight o'clock tonight Look at that sky, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And like we said just from up on the Star Flyer, they have got this plastic ice skating ring that's actually pretty big here. Um, yeah, it's not open tonight because it's only open certain times and dates. 
However, it's a nice size, um, but yeah, and it's free. That's the main thing. Yeah, I think that's really good, Joey. Free, even like the skates are free as well. I think yeah, free skate hire, and also as well, um, you've got the market stalls just over there at the side that are open along with the ice rink. But yeah, it's free. You don't need to book a time slot or anything like that. You can just come down here and experience like it. First come, first serve basis on time slots. Definitely. Right, we'll take a stroll down this way now. There it is, the Blackpool Tower, not lit up tonight yet. Yeah, we'll head down this way, show you these Christmas trees. I feel a bit sorry for Blackpool Council. They keep having to come down here and straighten them all up. They keep blowing over. Look at all the Christmas trees. Oh, it's really nice down here. But yeah, in the wind, they just keep blowing over. But yeah, these look nice, don't they? Just down here, outside of the comedy carpet, where this special something is going to be happening at eight o'clock. Yeah, these look nice, these do. Loads of Christmas trees covered in lights all the way down here. Yeah, normally when the tower's lit up, you get a nice photo and looking back over towards them as well. But yeah, hopefully we'll see the tower lit up later on. It's weird how it's not on, unless they're just having some technical issues. Yeah, this would be a really nice angle. Just down here, with a Christmas tree right next to the tower. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, it's much warmer up here in the Winter Gardens. Just a five minute stroll down from the promenade. And yeah, they've got the Winter Wonderland event that expands into the Winter Gardens here. So we just thought we'd come and check it out. Don't really know what's in here. But yeah, you've got these lovely reindeers singing. How nice are they? It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, I love them. I like to think of it as opportunistic. Oh, that's it. Reset, please. There we go. Yeah, you got some nice Christmas scenes up. There we go. I mean, another Christmas sing song, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's nice in here, isn't it? You got the Christmas tree over here. Looks like there's a couple of rides down there as well. Very quiet. Yeah, we're going to have a look. Why not? Yeah, it's only quite small in here, but you've got a few different rides for the kids, including this little power coaster here. I like how he's wearing a Santa hat on there as well. There he goes, the Dodgem's over at the back. And yeah, you got this little spinning ride in the middle here as well. Nice Christmas tree. Oh, there's a little train ride over there as well. It's quite a nice little scene in here. Nice and warm, I know that. We've got some bumper cars over here as well. Yeah, it's quite a nice setup. Got uh, Dodgem's over here as well. Got some more nice reindeers just over here as well. So yeah, this is the Santa's Grotto just over here. There you go, some more nice animatronics. Lovely they are. They look nice on my lawn, they would. Nice. Oh yeah, just thought we'd show you in here if you are coming down. Yeah, you got four little rides for the kids. And yeah, photo opportunity that's just deflated by the looks of it. Oh dear, it's come down. Is that supposed to happen? Yeah, I don't think it was. Oh dear, look at that. Back outside there now, and yeah, it's quite a nice little setup in there. Great for the kids, and it's really nice and warm in there as well. And that's what you need on these cold nights. But yeah, as you can see, you've got all new Christmas lights out here in Blackpool as well. And yeah, we're going to make our way down to the seafront, going to have a weather spoons, and then yeah, we'll uh, hang about on the front until eight o'clock, and we'll see what this is going to be like tonight. Oh, there's an awesome look there, and at the Star Flyer down here on the promenade in Blackpool. All the illuminations down here as well. The tram going by, it just really works down here. I love it. I love to see one permanently here in Blackpool. But yeah, like I say, because of the wind, it might cause a few issues, but maybe if they keep it to this size, have one like this um, permanently, maybe at the end of um, Central Pier or this side of Central Pier, you know, still on the promenade, would be fantastic. But yeah, I do really like it. It's awesome. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have a nice weather spoons now. Yeah, it looks great with all the lighting down here. You gotta love a bit of Blackpool. Oh, and the sky over there. Look how moody it is over there. Zoom in at that sky. Look at that. God, oh, that is pretty awesome, isn't it? What an amazing sky. But there you ride on the star flyer there. Come to an end. But yeah, nobody's gathering over there yet. So we're going to have a nice spoons. And yeah, we'll see you out here at eight o'clock for whatever's going to be happening. Can't wait. Well, we just had a nice weather spoons down here on Blackpool Seafront. So I'll show you another awesome view of the Blackpool Illuminations with that new star flyer just over there as well. And yeah, we're going to make our way now to the comedy carpet to find out what the mystery could be. Now, they've actually now updated the status with some pictures of some trumpets and trombones. So yeah, I think we're going to be seeing some sort of musical production down here on Blackpool Seafront. But yeah, we'll find out what it is shortly. You've also got the giant bauble down here as well on the seafront, just so I'd show you that. And yeah, Blackpool Tower lit up beautifully now. Here tonight, it's a cold night though, 1st of December 2021 when we're filming this. 
Oh, here we go. Look at all the wonderful Christmas trees down here. Out the front of the comedy carpet. It's very magical, isn't it? Really nice. Never yeah, seen anything like this before in Blackpool, so it's nice that they've done something different. Anyway, are you ready for this big surprise? I'm really excited for this big surprise. <laughs> Let's go and find out. We think it's going to be musical. Like I said, they've got pictures of trumpets and trombones uh, on the Facebook post. So yeah, let's see what it is. Let's go and see. I think it might be like a Christmas band, what we're going to see. But yeah, we'll find out. From the awesome band that they had out the front of the tower, very festive and it sounded good, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it that? sounded really good. It was really festive. <laughs> really nice. Not quite as big a spectacle as we thought it was going to be yeah, from the post. I, uh, I think a lot of people thought the same, but still, they sounded really good, and it was a nice little Christmas bonus, wasn't exactly, it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's been nice coming down here, having a ride on the Star Flyer. Really enjoyed it down here on the seafronts, and obviously uh, up in the Winter Gardens, having that indoor section is nice. Just feels a little bit out of the way compared yeah, to the rest of the event. The I think get the benefit from putting a few more rides out here on the seafronts yeah. actually for next year. Uh, it's nice to see Blackpool trying something a bit different for the festive season. Uh, we'll be back in a couple of weeks time for the final weekend of Pleasure Ooh. Beach, won't we? I just hope it's a bit warmer than it is today. I think it's going to be freezing. It is cold. I'm struggling to speak my lips. Uh, anyway, tomorrow we're going to be at the Trafford Centre checking out their Christmas events. And yeah, Charlotte's going to be with me as well. We're looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to that. Get, really get on really a good. few rides, got ice skating and see the overall atmosphere of the event. But uh, Oh, there we go. A bit of Mariah Carey to wrap up the vlog but there we go all I want for Christmas is you uh, thanks for watching theme park worldwide and that leaves me one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding we'll see you at the traffic center